Hola, como estas? My name is Jesse Lane, and I'm a general contractor here based out of Florida. And my goal on this YouTube channel is to help other business owners be successful in their business. I'm a general contractor. If you're a general contractor or want to be a contractor, then you're in the right place. Or if you just want to start a business, then subscribe to my channel, give it a like, and uh, look forward to having you around. This is Cooper, our new puppy dog. His official name is Cooper McNugget Lane. Uh, McNugget is his official middle name. He's a Springer Spaniel and he's about nine weeks old. Um, eight weeks when we got him, had him for about a week, if you do the math. So I'm gonna show you a super cool trick in this video. So this is gonna be a Builder Trend quick tip video. So stay tuned if you wanna know my system, which I'm gonna impart to you to approve subcontractor payments without you being involved. Stay tuned. So the ultimate goal of a business owner is to build a business system that operates without the business owner necessarily being directly involved. I'm not saying to not care about the details of your business. I'm just saying set up systems to where other people can run those systems and those things. Like for example, this video about paying subcontractors. Now I used to pay all of my subcontractors myself. I would click in to build a trend, send in the lien waivers. I would make sure the work is complete, calling my project managers, you know, figuring out like sending an email to my superintendents or text or whatever and be like, Hey, did the millwork guy actually install the cabinets? Is all the plumbing actually roughed in? And do we pass inspection? Do we checking with my books person? Hey, is the subcontractor licensure and insurance and all the paperwork? Do we have their W nine? Is everything on file? So this is a system that can put those checks and balances into your business so you don't necessarily have to be there doing it yourself but have other people follow the system that you've built and it gets done to perfection so it's something that most business owners wrestle with through the years of how to set people up for success and set their business up for success and you know the and the people within their business and this is just one of those things so this is a builder trend quick tip so let's hop in so within builder trend on the top you have project management files messaging financial there's some reports over here there's also your sales tab over here but under financial i am in the bills and po's section so within the bills and po's section you can see how i like to organize these columns i have the bill and po number over here on the left then i have the approval status and this even shows you when it was approved then you have the comments column which is exactly what we're going to be talking about today then i have the title Title of the PO, who was performed by, if it was paid or not, is the work complete, the total cost of the uh, the PO, and you see there's some bigger ones over here, and the amount paid and the amount remaining, stuff like that. So here's an example, window installation. This is purchase order number 42. So here's the trick. What I like to do is use the comments within the purchase order. This is super cool, super exciting. There's always gonna be a number here under this comments column, whether it be zero, one, two, or 15, however many comments there are. So if I click into, let's just pick this one. If I click this number two, it's actually gonna pull up in this window. See at the bottom, the two comments that have been made on this purchase order. That's the great thing about this is it's purchase order specific. And you always wanna make sure that you click this viewer and notification settings drop down and make sure that whoever is being notified, you want to be notified. And if the subs and vendors, you want them to see it or not, which um, just depends what you're gonna write, <laughs> you know? So you can see my chief tech officer, who's also helping with some bookkeeping, he's saying, is 42-1 okay to pay? So what he's saying is he's asking the project management staff if purchase order number 42, the first payment request by the sub is okay to pay. The dash one means the first payment request by the subcontractor. Our subcontractors know exactly what we are requesting from them. W9, their licensure, their insurance, and how we're gonna pay them, how to do the lien waivers. But one of these things is requesting payment. So the subcontractors have their own portal and they click request payment. Then it comes in here and we can approve those payment requests. So my office staff is asking project management if it's okay to pay. And you can see Ron here is saying 42-1, is good to pay because he's done his due diligence. He's talked to the superintendents. He's done all this work for me as the business owner and verified that we've passed plumbing rough inspection or if the mill work is installed or if the windows are installed or whatever it may be, the work is complete and ready to be paid in full or in part 
Now this is a partial payment because we're only paying the first payment request. So once a subcontractor has all their insurance, their W-9, their general liability, their licensure requirements, if they're a specialty trade like MEP, roofing, fire alarm, stuff like that, pool contractor, you also wanna make sure that you have their license info within your, your system, which I put it straight into Builder Trend, and then they can get paid. The bookkeeping staff checks all those documents first and then gets project manager approval. Both of those things have to be complete and then the subcontractor gets paid. So I'm back in the purchase orders list. Let's actually click on this number 42, which before we clicked on the number of comments that brought me to the comment window, but this is the actual purchase order window. So you can see the green being how much we paid and the gray being outstanding amount. And we can see that they've signed their lien waiver right here for the payment request number one. We can even see the online payment details as complete, the scope of work, our contract terms. We can actually attach their proposal, which we do all the time. And then we can come and see the cost codes that we used. So here is the list of payment requests that they've done. If you click into the payment request by hitting that, you can see right here that they have requested that amount, which is the amount that we paid them. But then you can see they've requested again, this is about three days ago that they've requested it. If I wanna know the amount they've requested, cause it doesn't really show me here, I can click into that and I can look right here at amount requested and you can see that is the amount that they've requested. The project management staff would come in, look at the amount requested, make sure that it makes sense on a schedule of values, you know, basis and percentage complete. And so we're gonna build the owner based off of this as well. And they can come in, write a comment down here and say 42-2 is good to pay. So that is the secret, folks. It's really, really good to use technology as much, much most as much, much, much as you can. <laughs> and it's really great to learn how to speak but some of us struggle with that. So using little things like this in technology can really, really jumpstart your business and help get you to the point where things can start running a little bit more on their own because that really is the ultimate goal for any business. So with love from Cooper, like this video and join the Suit Club NFT. You have to buy an NFT, join the Suit Club Discord channel. If you want a golden suit, if you want a classic suit, those are the two options. And then come to my business conference in October. 2022. I'm throwing a business conference in Jacksonville. You can come meet me. You can hang out with me, my team, meet other business owners, contractors, everything like that. It's super, super cheap tickets right now because it's early and um, you're going to get a lot of value out of that. So I will see you in a future video. Peace out on the streets. See you next time.